I always say I've been doing cancer immunotherapy far before it became fashionable. Everybody's doing cancer immunotherapy now. <laughs> I've been working in immunotherapy for over 20 years since I was a student. I always believed in this field and it's been so rewarding that it's come to fruition. So it's that excitement, that thrill of discovery, and that ability to harness the body's immune system to fight cancer that I've always dreamed of and that we're making this a reality. I um, found out I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on my 56th birthday. The most devastating thing was that I was a single mother and I had a 21-year-old son at home. We were all each other had and I was his entire world. I had this burning desire to beat this disease no matter what. I was sitting in my office and uh, actually looking at some documents for the trial and the phone rings. I pick it up and instead of one of my colleagues, it's a, a, it's a woman on the line. And I said, hi, I'm Denise Delatore. I'm the perfect patient for your CAR T-cell clinical trial. And he started laughing. He said, well, you need to qualify. And I said, well, I'm qualified because I read the criteria. I have it here in front of me. And then he said, well, it depends how big your tumors are. And I said, well, how big do my tumors need to be because I have the measurements right here. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little surprised. We don't usually have people calling to invite themselves into our clinical trials, but I said, this works. And so I told her that I'd be happy to see her um, the following Monday. I think at the time I went into the clinical trial, I had about 30 tumors, and the cancer had actually metastasized and started to spread into my spine as well. At that point, with all those different tumors growing, she probably wouldn't have had more than six months to live. Stay. Uh, 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 uh. I do have these two giant dogs at home. One's an Italian Mastiff and one's a Rottweiler. I think animals are extremely healing and there was something about those two dogs that helped me get through the process. I call Cooper my dark angel because he was there for me. He still comes up and lays his head right on my lap and looks into my eyes and it's just the most love that you could ever feel. The first thing that we noticed is that all of her pain went away. She had been having this discomfort in her lower back and her chest, and there was one tumor that I could feel in her lower abdomen, and, and that, that disappeared right away. If you think about it, it's kind of like science fiction, right? 20 years ago, if you had talked about genetically engineering T cells to cure cancer, it would have been something that was unfathomable. And here we are 20 years later, and it's become a reality. There's an ongoing battle inside her body between these cells in the cancer, but so far we're winning. And I really think that it's her, her positive attitude and her just sort of joy in life has really helped her immune system to heal and fight her cancer. Well, UCLA became my extended family. Everyone was so warm and welcoming and loving, and Dr. Timmerman was is special to me because he actually took my phone call that day. Had he not answered the phone that day, I wouldn't be here talking to you. There's always hope till there's no more hope. <laughs>